Welcome to the March Madness Minute number four. Today we're going to look at Screencastify, and it's a way that you can record what's happening on your screen as well as your voice and then share that video with others. It's free and it's available for both staff and for students. So to start, we're going to go to the Chrome Web Store, and if I search Chrome Web Store, it's usually the first link that comes up, and it's like an app store except for it's for Chrome. So in the Chrome browser, I have my Omnibar where I can search for information or type in a URL. My book bookmarks fall underneath. And then over here after the URL bar is all these extensions. And extensions are what allow you to personalize and kind of give your Chrome superpowers. So I'm going to go here and type in Screencastify. And when I hit search, First, the apps show up, and honestly, apps are not very powerful. They're really just links to websites, but extensions are really pretty cool. So I'm going to add this to Chrome, and I'm going to add the extension, and I'm going to wait for that extension to pop up here. And the nice thing is, is this software actually follows you. So it's not being downloaded to your device. It's being downloaded to your profile. So if I load, if I uh, log into another computer, I'm going to have these same options if I log into Chrome. So I'm going to click on this. So I'm done with the Chrome Web Store. And I'm going to go back to that project from yesterday. And if I was a student that did uh, this large piece of work about myself and now I want to record it, I would come up here to Screencastify, click it. And the first time you do it, it does ask for a couple things. So where do you want to save your information? I would always choose Google Drive. The Chromebook is going to delete it if you turn it off and on. Um, Google Drive has unlimited storage. And then it's going to ask you about using your camera and your microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Sometimes it'll ask you uh, pop up with an allow option. And then it has a tutorial. So I'm going to close the tutorial and I'm going to go back to my pictograph. And so I've installed I've downloaded Screencastify, I've installed Screencastify, and now I'm going to use it. So by clicking on it, I have the option for tab, desktop, and camera. Camera is really nice for foreign language, band, choir. Um, it allows you to record what the student is. You record the student, so you see them, you hear them, and they can turn those videos in. Tab is just going to follow this one tab. If I click on Science Fair QR codes, it's you won't see what I what I see. It's only on this one tab. So I like to choose Desktop. If I wanted my picture to be in the lower corner, my video, I could choose Embed. But I'm just going to start recording. And usually there's an internal display if you're on a Chromebook, um, but I'm not right now. So I'm going to choose this one. And so the red dot is there. That means I'm live. I'm recording. So I could explain. My name is Megan Johnson. Uh, I do use social media. I use Twitter, Instagram, and Flipboard. My uh, handle is at EdArchitect. And I also really like Google Plus for a professional learning network. And on there, I'm plus Megan Johnson. Um, there's lots of graphs. So I can show I used to live in the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, where that orange dot is, and in King Cove, Alaska. Uh, kids would walk down to the water and get crabs for dinner and walk the crabs home. So the mountains uh, at the top, that's where I grew up uh, outside of Hood River in Parkdale, Oregon. And then I included some graphs. There's a lot of different types of graphs you can use. So this is just the precipitation of the last four months. And you can see if I have a pie, circle, or this dot chart. And something I discovered was if I go and edit a map, I can attach my data to a Google Sheet, which could be attached to a Google Form. So I can be asking people information that Google Form would automatically update my graph. And when if I chose, instead of downloading this, I could publish it to the web. And with this embed code, I could copy and paste that to my blog. So my blog would show the data being updated live. So that's just a little side note. So that's one way students could show their thinking. They could make this pictograph, make their recording, and turn it in. Uh, it's also nice for teaching students how to do something or how to use a product. So um, if you want to show them how to use your website, if there's something you do often, I would just make a video and share it. Um, in this circumstance, I was trying to help a teacher, and it was hard to describe by email, but it was easy to make a video and share it. 
So this is a Google form from students and we wanted to take the link that kids had made and automatically turn them into QR codes. And it was hard to describe that there's a formula in this cell. If I highlight the cell and I click on this little blue square, I can pull it down. And now it automatically made a QR code that would take parents to student work so we can hang those QR code codes up in the hallway. So that was a video I was able to make for a teacher and send it over. Another way you could use Screencastify is if you go to the Math Learning Center uh, to their app page. These are a whole bunch of free websites that you can use on a Chromebook or their apps on an iPad. And I could click on things. Um, Money Pieces is a new one. I like Geoboards. So I'm going to click on Geoboards. Open in the web. And here a student could do their math work but then they could record a video to explain how they know. So if I made a shape, I could explain what the area was and I could even draw right on here. Oops, I click on the pencil and I can explain how I know what the area is, that this area is three. If I draw a line here, I know this area is one and this area is two. And they could explain how they know um, they could explain their thinking. So when I'm all done making my video, I'm going to go back here to the top, and I only have 10 minutes with this free version, so I need to keep talking. So I go up here, I click on it. So this is where I click to start and where I, where I click to stop. And once I stop it, it's going to start playing. And so the red dot is there. That means I'm live. I'm recording. So I'm going to uh, go here, and so I've got my video. It's all saved. And I have a couple options. I could delete it if I messed up and want to try again. I can't trim it unless I pay for it, and we don't need to do that. But I can share it. And if I click on Share, I have the option of YouTube or Google Drive. So now that mine's finished downloading to Drive, so I've got Google Drive, and before I grab the link, I want to change the privacy settings. So instead of only myself seeing the video, I want to be able to make it usually so anybody with the link can see it. Now, as a student, I could paste this right to my Google Classroom and turn in my work, or um, I can copy it and then paste the link in an email and send it. You have a lot of options from there. But that is Screencastify and how you can record what's happening on your screen with your voice and then send a link to share it. The other one little detail would be if I wanted to go back to my videos, I can click on Screencastify and they're all being backed up to Google Drive. If I want to see them, I could go to Google Drive or I can click on this play button right here and see all my videos at once. Uh, so thanks and have a good day.